Hey everybody, this is Jessica Lynn of Jessica Lynn Original, and I am so excited to bring you a brand new card. It is featuring our Bulldog stamp set, and we're going to call it Miss You More Than Just a Little. So the way I'm going to start is I'm going to pull out some of my cat scrappiness dies. And what I want to do, I was inspired by, do you remember the old Polaroid pictures back in the day? Um, so what I did was I took sort of a rectangle die and then a square die. And you can see they fit perfectly together. So I'm going to run them together right through my cuddle bug and I'm gonna go ahead and use that as my Polaroid picture and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run it right through and I apologize I had this backwards so just sliding around a little bit <clears throat> so once I have it all cut let me just show you what it looks like it's so cute so literally it was a rectangle and then a square embedded together just the way I did it right there and it made a version of a Polaroid picture. So let me show you how cute this is. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, and then I also have a nice little square for later, so I'm gonna save that. But look at how cute this is. And you know what I really like is all the little stitchy edges. It's so nice to have just, you know, something a little different, a little edge to it. I think it just adds something a little special to the cards that you're making. So now that I've got that, I'm going to go ahead and let me grab an envelope here and a card. I'm using currently just some pre-made cardstock. Works well. And you can see it fits pretty good on there. So we're going to have some nice background. And um, a couple of weeks ago, I sat and colored just a ton of stamp. Ooh, I think I might use the bulldog. Um, I used a ton of our different rubber stamps, and I colored them all in. So you can see there they are. Look how cute! Oh, the little ferret. Maybe I'll use him. Let's see what else I've got. So, if you're interested, I will link that video. So right now, I'm just going to dig through and find a couple of images that might work well inside the Polaroid. I'm really thinking it is going to be the bulldog, though, because I think he just is going to fit perfect. Now, the ferret, he would fit really cute. Look how cute that would look like, a little Polaroid of the ferret. Let's see how the bulldog looks. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use the bulldog. Yeah, that's cute. All right, ferret, maybe we'll use you in another card soon. All right, so paper. I bought this paper. I got it at Joanne Fabrics. It was, or Joanne, I don't think they've dropped the fabrics. But um, what I really liked about it is that sometimes they offer these huge stacks where you get like a hundred sheets and it's like five of the same that I don't like. And what I really liked is look, this is only, I mean, this one is eight sheets, two of each, so 16 sheets. And I wanna say it was like a dollar or two. It was really inexpensive. And it's just enough because I don't make a million cards of the same paper pattern. So I really liked that green. There's something about it. It's watercolory. It's cute. Oh, yeah, it is a watercolor primary. I really liked it. It was the one I was the most attracted to. So let's go ahead and start getting this all lined up here. Then I realized I can't just put the bulldog on there because look, it's got the same pattern on the background. So I went and found some blue paper that I had used in another card for this fishing porthole set that I had used. So I decided it was really important to go ahead and put a background behind the bulldog, something different than the green paper. So we'll do that in just a moment. But I'm going to go ahead and start by putting my glue strips on. I decided this time to actually use these glue strips that I have. They remind me of, um, <clears throat> you know when you put the plastic, like old school, on your windows? It's like double-sided stick tape. So I went ahead and I'm just going to try that because I've never used it before. But I'm trying to go through my collection of items and start using more of that stuff. So let's go ahead and do that.
So now we're going to go ahead and apply the full background now that the glue is on there. And then I'm again just going to trim off that extra. You could use, um, like if you have one of the little blade, like the little guillotine blades, you could do that too. Alright, I just, I really like this pattern. It's so pretty and just, just flora. I like it a lot. So this is the pattern I'm going to use for the background um, for the dog. <clears throat> what I wanted to do was have a background so that it looked like the bulldog was part of the Polaroid and not actually part of that green watercolor background. So I went ahead and I just glued it on up, stuck it on there. Plus I thought, you know what, let's make this a little stronger because that white cardstock was really thin which was not making me happy and I just I didn't want it to so you can see how it kind of bends a little bit so once I've got that on there I'm gonna go ahead again and trim off the excess and I decided to keep the extra blue paper attached to it rather than trim it all away because like I said the white cardstock was really thin and I was really concerned about longevity of that little pretend Polaroid now I've learned <laughs> we're gonna put our sentiment on here first because in the past I probably would have gone oh let's put the dog on there I'm so excited to see the dog but I was smart this time and I said no we need to get our sentiment and put that on there so I decided to use the mama elephant in my heart which seems to be right now the one I'm kind of I like the sentiment that's out of it it's so there's a lot of sweet ones so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and I'm going to use my Close to My Heart ink, which, again, I purchased that ink when I first started the business 13 years ago with JustGolinOriginal.com. And I just, I kid you not, before I shot this video, I just re-inked it with ink now. So we're talking 13 years, which is crazy. And it was still just as good as it was before. Now, I don't work for them, but I will tell you they're the ink I like the best. I've had the most success with it. So I'm going to use that Mama uh, Elephant sentiment and it says, miss you more than just a little. So this could be a um, card for someone whose dog has passed or it could just be for someone who loves bulldogs and they wanted to have, you know, they thought it'd be sweet to make them a little card that way. I really love the mix of the script with the straight font. It just, I think it's really beautiful. So now in true Jessica fashion, I'm going to go ahead and we are going to glue on the Polaroid to the card. And what I want to do is kind of shift it up a little bit. I want to make sure that I see some of that green down at the bottom. And then we're going to get out the foam risers because I actually think it would be kind of fun to have the duck. Maybe it's not a Polaroid. Maybe it's more like a, a doggy door. I don't know. Maybe he's, maybe he's stuck in the doggy door. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it would be fun. I really like it. I'm really feeling very inspired. Um, I will tell you that I went through a couple weeks ago and I colored in a ton of our stamps. <clears throat> and then after I was done with that... I was like, ugh, now I have a whole lot of cards to make. I feel very kind of more creative with a whole bunch of images ready to go. So maybe if you're feeling like, ah, oh, what do I make next? Maybe go through and stamp up a whole bunch of just white cardstock, cut them all out. I made a little blue basket that I showed you earlier, and it's been kind of fun. Just pick a random stamp and go. So it's been kind of fun. So. <clears throat> Foam risers are on our adorable little bulldog. Let's flip him over. And then what I'm going to do is make it so it looks like he's sitting right on the bottom edge. There we go. I, I'm loving this card. Honestly, I, I made this card and I have it sitting at my desk. And the more I look at it, the more I, I, I just, I love it. I think it is sweet. I think it is simplistic. I think that... It could actually work for a lot of different stamp images. Um, if you like this Bulldog stamp, it is a Jessica Lynn original. Just a side note, all of our stamps are made in the United States. Um, so if you are looking for those, we are at JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Um, we've also got some on Amazon. 
Um, so those are some of the locations that you can purchase them. Anywhere else, it's not us. So make sure that you go and purchase those from JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Oh, I'm loving it. This is so sweet. Oh, cute card. Well, if you like what we're doing here at Jessica Lynn Original, please go ahead and click on the subscribe button. I'll pop up a little Brentwood. Just click on that. And I'd love to hear from you. What do you think of this? What other critters could we put in that little Polaroid picture? I do thank you again. And again, our stamps are available at JessicaLynnOriginal.com. Thank you again. Have a great day.